Be Honest Company, and we're doing 50 questions with Christopher. What is your name? Christopher Gavigan. What is your title? Chief Purpose Officer. What does that mean to you? Oh, what does that mean? That means here at The Honest Company, we're focused on mission and purpose and really driving and amplifying these core pillars of education, product excellence, and responsibility and impact, and it really is about creating a North Star and a vision and a responsibility around that and our reputation. Honest member Aaron wants to know, what made you want to start Honest? It was really, a, as a father and as a person, I wasn't finding what I needed in the marketplace, and I heard time and time again parents asking for what are the safe, effective products that you use? What would you design and devise and have for people? And I couldn't find it. I couldn't make strong recommendations. And so I said, why can't we create it? And that was really the dream big moment. What's the scariest part of launching a startup? The scariest part of start, uh, launching a startup is really ensuring that the magic and the hopefulness that you put behind the brand that you're really hoping that people understand that and really can gravitate to it. So it's putting yourself out there and it's risky. It's inherently risky and I was always concerned about that. What was your favorite job before Honest? It was, I worked in the mountains of Santa Cruz in this beautiful redwood forest and it was doing environmental education with those children. It was so impactful for me and uh, in one of the most beautiful places in the world. What is the first thing you do in the morning? Besides kissing my wife, I'm usually in a moment of doing this because one of my children is about to jump on me because they run in the room and storm the castle and uh, I'm in this protective mode and then I hug them. <laughs> What's your family's morning routine? Oh, it's like every family's morning routine. It's not <clears throat> overly complicated, and such, but it's really hectic. So making breakfasts, making lunches, slathering them with sunscreen, dressing them, it, it's... It's chaotic greatness. I love it. What can't you leave home without? Oh, God. It's my kombucha in the morning. I, I drink probably about three a day, and I need one in hand when I'm stepping out of the front door. Describe having four kids in three words. <sighs> Incredibly rewarding. So rewarding. <sighs> Adventurous. And protective. What is your favorite activity to do with your kids? We have the most beautiful swing you could possibly imagine on this very big cypress tree in our front yard. And we're so fortunate to have this tree, but this swing is this iconic special place that we gather. And pushing my children on this swing and running around and that, that unstructured playtime is so, so special for me. What did you grow up with that your kids will never have? Oh, that's an easy one. The world of social media. I have four children, one who's eight, five, three, and um, baby, baby. And this idea that I'm already thinking about the world and of, of social media and how to protect them from it and how to navigate it with them and have conversations with them and give them the parameters, yet the permission. And I really want to uh, really create a good social, experience, social media experience for them. What is something interesting you've read recently? Oh, I read a great book called Changing the Game by John O'Sullivan. And it's a great parent book, particularly for fathers, um, but parents in general, because it really helps you navigate the world of your relationship with your children's sports, because you are such a primary figure for how they engage in sports. And so what do you do with your body and how do you engage with them and how do you talk to them about their sporting careers? Between the ages of 6 to 12, you're seeing this drastic drop-off of engagement for children because of this hyper-competitiveness. And so I think changing the game will change your mind and how you participate with sports for your kids. What is your favorite food? Food. I don't eat breakfast, so I love breakfast food, though. I would say right now I am all about these highly nutritional bars um, because when I find that I, I get a good hit of protein and complex carbs in the middle of my day, it really powers me through my day. But I love my dinners and I love um, 
meals with my children, but I love a big salad and a um, really, really fresh foods. What is your favorite app? Oh, I love this new app. It's called Modern Atlas. Brand new out within the last week, and I've been searching and navigating it, and it essentially helps. I love traveling, and this helps you on um, your travels throughout the country, particularly in the back country, and it gives you great atlases and, and all the, um, the topographic maps on your phone. So it's really, really great. Check it out. What's your favorite Honest product? It's like asking my favorite child. My favorite Honest product is the Healing Balm. I love the Healing Balm. I slather it over my children's faces every single night. Um, sometimes they don't like that, but <laughs> we test on our children. Um, but I, I love that product. It's this beautiful organic balm that's in incredibly versatile. What's your favorite Honest diaper print? Oh, that's such a hard one. Um, we've had over 100 diaper prints. I would say that it is, I love our original eight, but within that original eight, Bloom, which was this beautiful soft pattern. I've got three girls. I love the girl patterns, um, but Bloom is a fantastic one. What song do you currently have on repeat? Let's look. My song that I currently have on repeat. Oh, Boy and Bear, Southern Sun. Did you hear it? Oh, how are you going to hear it? No. How am I going to do that? I don't know. We could try that again. Okay. It's a really good one. Oh, there we go. Southern do you have a hidden talent? No. Oh, no, I'm really good at driving across country in two and a half days. It's a really great talent. <laughs> If you had a superpower, what would it be? Flight. Flight. Flying. Yes. What is your spirit animal? That's such a weird question. <laughs> um, a golden eagle. I love eagles and birds that prey, and it's such a beautiful, majestic animal. Not many around, so yes. What is your advice for a first-time dad? Oh, that's easy. Take care of mom. Mom, your wife, your spouse, your partner, she needs support and love and attention. So think about all those ways that you can cater to her needs. She's not going to ask for the help, but please support her, forecast her need, and be involved in the process of that new baby, um, new family. It's one of the most special times, and uh, she will thank you for it. What are the biggest similarities between you and your kids? Biggest similarities? My kids are incredibly competitive, and <laughs> I've been known to be competitive. What about the differences? My kids are more, um, they're more social than I am. Um, I'm, I run on the more, more introverted side, quite honestly, and I love their social relationships with their children, or their friends and their family. They're very outgoing, and I really admire them for that. Name one thing that is a new parent's best friend. Earplugs. No, I'm kidding. Um, our Honest Bundles. They truly are this ultra convenient package that you, on a monthly or whatever cycle basis you'd like, you get this great package of all your family essentials. So diapers and wipes, cleaning and home care, delivered to your doorstep, super easy. You don't have to go out of the house and you essentially you click in and have fun through this great experience and knowing that you're going to get trusted and um, safe effective products. What trait do you wish you had a bit more of? I would say I wish I was more patient. I have a hard time slowing down but uh, yeah patience for sure. What do you wish you had time to do more of? I wish I had more time to um, I would say read and I would also say get outside and be in the wilderness and hike and bike and raft and um, I love that physical activity especially in wild places. Who is your favorite teacher? Oh my that's an easy one my wife is my favorite teacher she is such an inspiration to me and she makes me a better person and I, I love her excitement and her thoughtfulness and mindfulness and her intellect and uh, I feel like if you surround your, yourself with people that are better than you, it really elevates your game. And she is so much better than me. No, I love her so much, and she's a great, great teacher. What is the hardest thing about writing a book? The hardest thing about writing a book is the editing process. You want to say a lot, you want to get it all down, and then you really 
have this high propensity of, of, of um, guardianship and, and ownership around those words and editing those words down to getting clear, concise messaging, I would say that editing is really hard. Well, if parents took one thing from your book, what would it be? Oh, I love... Uh, it's that common theme we talk about in the first chapter. It's no one can do everything, but every, everyone can do something. So it's this inspirational theory around involvement and participation and learning more and leaning into the opportunities and challenges, but trying to do something and, and exciting yourself into action. What is your favorite memory from the first year of The Honest Company? Uh, oh. It's, it's being in relationship and building team. I would say, so you're, we're standing in front of our honest tree, and this is such a powerful visual representation of our people, and talent is so important for us here at The Honest Company. I would, I'd say these are the folks that were involved early. <laughs> this little sphere and, and my how it has grown. And actually, if you pull back from this whole scene, these pieces of wood in the first year in building this tree and building this concept, I, I jumped into a dumpster and pulled this old fence wood out. And this is what the entire tree is based on and uh, something I'm really proud of. What about year four? Year four. So you build team, you build the brand and the concept, but year, this year has been all about refinement and strategic focus. And I would say that we're doing a really good job at creating process and strategy. It's hard work, and with the right people, you can create any process. And uh, the team is really, really thriving in that. And, and I'm, I'm watching them accelerate and be more efficient. So it's really exciting to watch. What is your favorite quote? I have, oh, I love quotes. I really do. I love quotes. I would say, I'm just looking at my phone because I'm going to pull up all the quotes that I have. Oh, here's a great one. I try to look at, I try to look at quotes. Um, over there, we have, we have an honest manifesto, and the manifesto, is, as you know, is all about how do you drive inspiration through minimal words and deep impact. And so I try to look at quotes every single day, and, and I screenshot some that inspire me, and this is one that I love and it's very appropriate for today. Speak with honesty, think with sincerity, act with integrity. Where is your favorite vacation destination? Oh, I love Portofino. Portofino, Italy is one of my favorite places in the world. Sipping rosé. What is the funniest thing your kids have said? I love when kids use big words that they really have never used before. And my wife told me a story about my daughter today. They were going out and my wife was like, no, hold on, hold on, wait for a second. And my daughter said, mom, I'm just standing here waiting for your companionship. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> what about the sweetest? Oh, it's funny. Your kids usually don't say sweet things to your face. They only say sweet things about you so I love when I hear stories about me through other people's um, uh, voices. Actually, we have this great book in our family, and I encourage all families to get this, or just, just get a notebook, but write down the things that you hear every single day, because some of the words and some of the, some of the sweet things, some of the crazy things that come out of their mouth is really, really fun. Well, what is one word your kids use to describe you? What is one word... My kids would say I'm happy. What's the best Father's Day gift you've ever received? I would say someone gave me a bag of organic multi-grain pancake mix, and I loved it because it was like they, they really knew who I was. They, loved, they know that I love making breakfast for my children. They know that I love healthy foods, and they know that I love participating with them. So it was that great catalyst for doing all that. What is a Father's Day present every dad would love? A Father's Day dad, a present every dad would love is they would really like um, to sleep in. And I think they would really like a little bit of... Um, that it's all about time. Time is our greatest commodity. And I would say that they, they want the time. 
And I look, I put, I have a Father's Day gift guide on the blog. So go to the honest, honest blog, honest.com backslash blog, and you'll see my Father's Day gift guide. And you will also see a DIY for a um, pair of Thieves socks that I think is really cool. What is on your phone's lock screen? My most new and beautiful daughter, Josephine. She is six and a half weeks old. How beautiful is she? Who is a father you draw inspiration from? My father. Um, my father and what he's taught me and how he has guided me and my principles and values and focused me. Um, and he is, he is, even though he's not alive, he is someone that is deeply within me and, and lives with me in every day and I act in accordance to how he's um, inspired me. What achievement are you most proud of? I would say, look, the, the Honest Company is a phenomenal achievement but it goes beyond that. It goes to our core mission and purpose of really inspiring people and empowering people with information to live healthy, happy lives. That, if, if, if that legacy can be pushed out and transferred to people and, and hit people to their core to change for the better, even in the most little ways, um, I think I'm incredibly proud of that. What's something that's still on your lifelong to-do list? <laughs> I really want to climb a mountain. A, a, a really big mountain. <laughs> I don't know why. I just My wife doesn't want me to do it, but I want to climb a very large mountain. What's the last thing you do before going to bed? I stretch every single night. And I think being limber and um, flexible is incredibly important, especially as we age, guys. So <laughs> I, I stretch every single night. What has made you happiest today? Um, my wife sent me some beautiful photos of my children. I always love those. Like, you can't send enough photos to the people who aren't there with the children. So I saw some great photos of my kids and a video. Um, but in, internally here, I had a really great meeting with our customer service team. Actually, we're standing in front of our customer service team. And the meeting was all about improvement of their work process and flow and everything that they do from a customer service perspective and we can always seek to become better and improve our work at customer service and I'm incredibly proud of this team for the work they do every day and how they reach out to our customers and really are their advocate and friend and partner in the process of raising a family and, and having these um, wonderful products in their homes and so I'm incredibly proud of their work and so when I get to spend time with them and build with them. I, I love it. Well, we've reached question number 50. Yes. How are you spending Father's Day? I'm spending Father's Day with my children, obviously. I'm spending Father's Day going to a yoga class, um, spending as much time as I can with my kids that day, eating good food, spending as much time outdoors with them, and, um, and just laughing a ton. I, there are moments in life that you wish you could bottle and um, I hope that it, we create one of those days that like, we can bottle those special moments and um, I'm really looking forward to it. Hey, this is enough. I'm done. I want to take a phone call. Okay. Anyone here in customer service? Yes. I want to take a call. Thank you. Have one ready. Have one ready. questions about the diapers. Excellent. Hi, this is Christopher Gavigan of The Honest Company. How can I help you? 